I just got the greatest deal from Facebook Marketplace. Now listen, the guy didn't want me to film him, so I met him up at Goodwill, and you have to see what I got. I got this Nintendo 3DS XL complete in the box and a bunch of games, and I only paid 110 bucks. So let's go to my spot, and I'm gonna show you how all this looks. Wait guys, what about the budget? So if you recall in the last video, we only had $10 for the budget, but somehow I paid 110 bucks for that 3DS lot. So it really doesn't make sense. So how did we get that exactly? So at the grocery store, I talked about all those games that I sold. And after they all sold, that was awkward. So at the grocery store, I talked about all those games that I had sold. And after that, the budget was still only to $79. So how did I pay for the 110? Simple, because I also sold Super Mario 3D World, Princess Peach Controller, and this right here, because I really don't remember what it was. And that brought our budget back up to $132. So after spending the $110, what does that mean? We now have $22. I hope that helps. All right, back to the regularly programmed schedule. Wait, back to the regularly scheduled program. All right, guys, so I said it's my spot, but it's actually just an empty table outside of Chipotle. I was hoping I could get a burrito, but... They're closed. But check out what I have here, guys. I have this beautiful red Nintendo wow. 3DS XL. The box is immaculate. So as I open this up, you can see it is in immaculate condition. Now, here's what's even crazier. I was not expecting to get an extra game, but as I pop this open, check it out. Mario, Sonic, the London Olympics. Now, we also got a few more games. Of course, with this came this amazing Spider-Man 3DS and two Xbox 360 games, Iron Man 2 and Minecraft Xbox 360 edition. Now, I know just Minecraft alone, I can get about 20 bucks, and I believe I can with the Spider-Man as well. But with the 3DS, I know I can get it around $200. But I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna be taking offers because I'm trying to move money and get some cash flow to get the Panzer Dragoon Saga. All right, guys, so since there was no burrito for me, we are headed to the K Roger, or you might know it as Kroger. I like to call it K Roger. And we're gonna get some groceries because it's probably, I'm sorry, I'm covering my face. That's the, isn't that what you wanna see? No, probably not. But my family needs food and it's probably not appropriate for me to, you know, eat burritos anyways so i'm headed to go get some groceries so that my family can eat and there i'll tell you how i got the money and where we're at on the budget because we sold almost every wii game from the last adventure Congratulations. So i'll see you guys at kroger and we'll talk about what we sold sold the Wii U or the Wii, but I sold a bunch of Wii games, which is pretty stinking awesome. Mm. And that fell. I know I'm talking about video games in the grocery store, so basically I sold two Marios, Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, Whoa. then we sold something. It was something, but I don't remember what it was. Oh yeah, Zelda Twilight Princess. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what it was. Where's the key? Where's the key? Where's the key? Alright guys, and we also sold something. Oh yeah, we sold a Guitar Hero World Tour and Guitar Hero 3 Legends yeah. of Rock. And one more thing, I'm trying to remember what it was. Oh, Super Smash Bros. Raw. So, yeah. yeah, that's everything guys. That's what we sold. Is that Brady? Brady, what's up man? How you doing, right? Doing all right, all right? Yeah, just filming. I'm actually filming right now. So. Long time I see. Yeah, dude. Awesome. Yeah, well, like a week ago. Yeah. So maybe two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Right, right, yeah. Right. I'm actually filming because I'm. I got a bunch of Wii stuff and Wii U stuff. What do you got? Uh, so I have a Wii complete in box. Um, it, I do have the Wii Sports. I was selling it separately. Right. But uh, you know, it just depends on what I can get for it. I mean, we'll so. do like a bundle deal. Like Wii Sports and the so for you so this is Brady I'm talking to he's a local reseller and honestly pretty cool guy and to tell you the truth I'm just trying to figure out like how to make money off of him without feeling scummy because you know he's such a good guy 
So basically, I just did what I always do, and I just gave him a really good deal. So there it is, guys. That's the next thing sold right there. So. Yeah, I wanted to see if you trade some Switch game. Huh? Yeah. Brady, right here. Okay, so I can say I wasn't expecting that. So, hey, how you doing? So guys, that adds to the budget. Yeah, I wanted to see if you trade some Switch game. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. That's another 75 bucks go. I mean, I could have gotten like 120 bucks, but he's local. He's a reseller and a collector. So, hey, that's 75 bucks in cash flow. Isn't that what I just said? So let's get the rest of groceries and see what happens. After I went home and picked up the Wii, I went to meet up with Brady in my spot. Yes, <laughs> Home Depot, the home of uh, video games or selling stuff or, or something like that, for me at least. Anyway, yeah, here I am with Brady again. You know, we're all we're all out here freezing. <laughs> Man, that 18, is what is it, like 18 degrees? 18 or 16, somewhere between that. There's ice all over the ground. Yeah, black ice Man, on the road. that thing is really, really clean. So this, this is what you're wanting to do, like a trade yeah, value? I yeah, I wanted to see if you trade for some Switch games, you know? Yeah. Like I said, Brady is a really good guy. And to be honest, I really just wanted money for the budget. You know, but... Uh... Sounds good. Okay, so so valuation, this is, I think, around... Because uh, we looked it up earlier. It's around 110 for all this. Yes, I'm yes. giving you a good deal on that. It's 75. He's giving me the homie price. 20% bro price. So what I'm asking is $10 off of the valuation of this. So 25 so just an extra 25 for all this. Yeah. yeah all right, right on. 25 cash on top of the Switch game. Yeah. Work. The deal. Okay, guys. So, yeah. He was just going to trade the games. But I decided to pay him an extra 25 bucks. Not sure why my brain went in that direction. But, you know, he's a good guy and ended up giving me some money back later that night. You know, in reselling and game hunting, it's hard to come across someone you can just be friends with. Brady, you know, he's one of those guys that just charms everyone he meets and everyone honestly likes him. Sure, like anybody, he wants to make money, but he's always looking out for me and I'm always down to do the same for him. So Brady, if you're watching this, thanks. Thanks for being a good dude. How you guys doing? Subscribe to The Pick and Preacher on YouTube. Right. Well, the day was done and I came in from really, really cold, like really cold. Ooh. I'm definitely not coming home empty handed. I decided to take another look at all of my Saturn collection and think where I started. I remember where it all begun. We've been to local game stores just picking up what we can, you know, looking in the background of all of my old Sega Saturn Saga videos and just seeing just a few games on a makeshift shelf and even picking up my first Saturn console is just wild to see. To think I found some crazy games and have traded lots of very valuable items with folks at conventions like Mark for example from Dynamo Collectibles giving me a killer trade for the Shining Force 3 in amazing condition. Then I have gotten Dark Savior along with much more that I've been wanting at the most recent really rad weekend and from Scott Squatch himself. There are so many games from cheap to expensive that I've been able to find out in the wild and all over the place. Just to add to the collection, merely from flipping games from the sole purpose of building up a Sega Saturn Saga budget. To think about Brandon's Arkansas Retro Expo was my first actual convention to sell at. And I found In the Hunt from Jason. And I got to meet up with Patman Case and others. And Patman Case even hooked me up with a great deal on some items I needed for the Sega Saturn Saga. Honestly, I never thought I'd also collect accessories, but here I am buying a light gun and Street Fighter the movie from Jack Bandit, and to think I met him in Heckin' Steve's Discord. The most recent pickup was this complete in-box original model of the Sega Saturn, and I can shout out Christopher Nutter for looking out for this one for me. And to be honest, the one that's probably most memorable for me is when I went to David's house and he loaded me up with tons of Sega Saturn games. And to think we were joking about Panzer Dragoon Saga and how I would never get it, and the culmination of the Saturn Saga series is here, me looking for Panzer Dragoon Saga. But it's time to go to sleep, because tomorrow is a new day to hunt for more games to buy and sell. But my body likes to try to kill me at night, so I have to put on my source of life to give me my Sega Saturn hunting superpowers. So no telling what tomorrow holds. So good night, my friends.